Hi, I'm Chol Ho Jung, and I'm going to talk about architectural acoustics. Architectural acoustics basically means two things, sound insulation and room acoustics. And I'm going to talk about room acoustics in this presentation. Room acoustics basically means acoustic conditions in indoor spaces. And humans spend a lot of time in indoor conditions these days. So the optimization of acoustic conditions is important and, and also related to our health as well. We have two different approaches. Uh, we actually can measure objective parameters like sound pressure level and reverberation time using microphones. And we can also ask people how they feel about acoustics. That's the subjective impression. And by making a correlation between objective parameters and subjective impression, we can extract some important acoustic features that influence the human perception. In room acoustics, we are dealing with different places like music performance spaces and schools and, and restaurants. And let me give you some examples. The first one shows the Danish radio concert hall. And of course, uh, room acoustics is definitely the most crucial in concert halls and opera houses. In the second place, this is a classroom. And the speech intelligibility is one of the most important parameters in, in classrooms because the student wants to hear the teacher as clear as possible. In offices, it is known that uh, bad acoustics can reduce the productivity and the performance. So it's important to have a good acoustic conditions in offices as well. And probably you have visited some restaurants with very bad acoustics. And communication in such a noise play, noisy situation is, is very, very painful. So, we have to improve the acoustic conditions of many different restaurants. And actually, the noise is the second biggest complaint behind the poor service in restaurants. There are many acoustic simulations to predict the acoustic conditions, depending on the frequency, size of the room, and the types of the room. At low frequency, uh, for example, in small rooms, we can directly solve the wave equation, such as finite element simulation and boundary element simulation. At high frequency, in large spaces, we cannot directly solve the wave equation because it takes too much time. Then we replace the, the wave propagation uh, with the propagation of the rays emitted from a source. Then, then we trace all the rays to estimate the acoustic conditions. That's called the uh, geometrical acoustic simulations. DTU has excellent acoustic facilities. We have one big unequal chamber of 1,000 cubic meters, and the cutoff frequency is 50 hertz, which means there is no reflection from the wall above this frequency. We have another unequal chamber with 64 loudspeakers, where we can reproduce any kind of acoustic scenes by means of simulations and multi-channel recordings. We have four reverberation chambers, where we can measure the absorption coefficients, scattering coefficients, sound transmission, and, and, and sound power. And many studies show that uh, if we uh, measure the same sample in different places, in different reverberation chambers, the, the measured quantity differs a lot. So we are trying to improve the acoustic conditions in reverberation chambers in several projects. That's it, and if you have further questions, Please feel free to, to contact me. Thank you very much.